Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder and today I want to show a tutorial about how to use the Trimble Connect model reviewer extension that's available for download in the Tecla warehouse. So I'm going to start from the very beginning so if you're not familiar with some of the tools I'll go through and briefly show how they work so that you can start this from the very beginning all the way to project completion. So once the tool is installed, you'll see a new icon over on the right hand side called Trimble Connect Model Reviewer. I'm in a brand new model, so I'm going to start from the very beginning. But if you had an existing project, you could start there as well. So to begin, if I click on the tool, you'll see that it tells me that there's a setup error and that it's unable to connect to the Trimble Connect servers. The reason for that is because I'm in a brand new project. I don't even have it linked to a Trimble Connect project yet. So I need to do that. And then we also need to set up property sets, which is how the collaboration between Trimble Connect and Tecla structures will happen. So at the very beginning, I'm prompted to create a new Trimble Connect project. Or if I have an existing project already created, I can link my Tecla structures model to that. So since this is brand new, I'll just go ahead and click on create. That's going to create the project there and then link my model to it so that I can begin a collaboration between those. So if you had an existing model already created, that's excellent. I'm just going to put in two columns in a beam and just add some simple connections, create some drawings. That way we can just simulate a workflow. All of you know how to create models and stuff like that, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining what I'm doing. I'll just go ahead and uh, add some connections just so that the drawings have a little bit of detail on them. So there's uh, the base plate connection and then let's just go in and quickly add a shear plate connection from that column to beam and then from that column to beam. And then what I'll do is come in and number my model so I can come up here and run my numbering and then real quickly I'll just create some drawings so I'll open up the master drawing catalog and then I'll just use this first option to create drawings for all parts and then that will create me some drawings that we can utilize later in the tutorial. So I'll close that for now and next thing that I need to do is share the model into Trimble Connect so there's easy ways to do that. What I'm going to do is just use this command from the ribbon however if you wanted to you could create an IFC file and you could also upload that manually into Trimble Connect if you want, or you can use the Trimble Connector under the Models button there to be able to upload that information. So before I go into Trimble Connect, one last thing that I'll do is I actually want to upload those shop drawings into Trimble Connect and link them to the objects so that they can be utilized by the people that I'm collaborating with. So if I come to the Applications and Components catalog, I can search for this extension called Linking Documents to Trimble Connect. If you're not familiar with this extension, I'll provide a link in the bottom that goes through a tutorial of how this works. But this is another extension that can be installed that will PDF your drawings, upload them into Trimble Connect, and then allow those people to be able to use them. And that will be utilized in this workflow as well. So I'm just going to navigate to where the file is. Right now, all I'm concerned about are the assembly drawings. I didn't edit the drawings or anything like that. I'm just going to upload them as is, and I'm just going to link them as PDFs. So I'll go ahead and run this. Like I said, what this will do is it will print those drawings. It will upload them into Trimble Connect, link them to those uh, objects, those assemblies in the project. And then they can be utilized in Trimble Connect, and I'll show you how those come into play in the TC Model Reviewer as well. So now that that's complete, let's go ahead and open up Trimble Connect so that we can set up our collaboration with the property sets. So I'll launch this here. It will load in the model. And just to quickly verify, I'll click on one of these assemblies and you can see the linking icon. So I know that my drawing has been uploaded there. So with this extension that we've created, the primary way that we want to collaborate is utilizing the property sets. So to be begin with that, I'm going to come over here into the Project Explorer. And you can see that there's the property set libraries. Since this is a brand new project, this will be blank. And so I can begin to set up a brand new library. If you're a project admin, you can set up libraries that can be utilized on all of your projects, both new and existing. I've created a separate video that I'll link to at the bottom of this video as well, explaining how to do that. So for this example, I'm just going to show how to create these property set libraries within this project that can only be utilized in this project. But if you want to utilize other libraries throughout new or existing, you can set those up as the project admin. 
So to begin, I'll go ahead and click on new library and then I can come give this a name. So I'm just going to call this workflows and then I'll save that. And then I can begin adding property sets by clicking the plus button down here. And then I can give this a name. So I can just call this review workflow. I can also give it a description if I want. And then you can see that there's a way to manage the access controls. So again, I've created a separate video about how to manage the access control. So I won't go into too much depth on that here. So we'll just give this a name of review workflow and then I can come add my properties. And one of the key elements of this tool is that it works on a certain property type. So let's call this name review status. This can be anything that you want. But the way that we organize this is by choosing a drop down choice for our property type. This will allow us to enter in values. And then these are how it will be organized or categorized over in Tackle Structures with the extension. We can add additional information that can be visualized in there, but this is the primary way that it gets organized. So I'll type in my values here of approved, approved is noted, and then revise and resubmit. So once I'm happy with that, I can add additional properties. But again, this will be the primary way that it gets organized. I can add additional information up here. So if we wanted to add in review comments as text, I can do that. So I'll just leave the property type as is. And then I'll just add one more here. And let's call this review date. Just to show that you can use this date option as well. The other values are number, true and false, or having a specific URL. So once I add that, I'm going to go ahead and click publish. And this will then make these property sets available to be utilized on my project. So you can see here I have review status, review comment, and review date. If I wanted to add another library, maybe a different workflow for like erection or poor status or something like that, I can just go ahead and add those. And then I'll be able to have access to them on the Tecla Structures side. So for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and keep one and then back in my model because I already have it open. I'm just going to click on refresh so that I can bring in those property sets. And then those property sets need to be enabled on each of the parts or the assemblies in the model. So I'm just going to do this all at once by selecting the entire model. And then I'll come up here to the three dots and say add properties. And then you can see here that I have my review workflow that I've created with my three options. So I'm just going to enable all of those on each of the objects. Click on done. And now when I click on each individual assembly, I have the review workflow with the edit icon that I can come in and begin collaborating. So to see this edit icon, you do need a Trimble Connect Business Premium license. If you have a business license, you'll be able to view information that has been added. But if you want to add or modify information, you would need a business premium license. So for this, I'm just going to give this an approved as noted status. And then I'll say see drawing uh, for comments. And then I can timestamp this with today's date. So that one is set up there. And then on this beam, I'll go ahead and add my status. So I won't add any comments. I'll just set this to be approved. And then just for the sake of different colors, I'll do the same for this one and just say revise and resubmit. So this is the workflow. You create the property sets and then someone with a business premium license can come in and add that information. And so it can be viewed by clicking on these parts or assemblies individually and then viewing it here in the list. But if you wanted to view it in a quicker way, there's a tool that's been added to Trimble Connect over here called the Organizer that will allow you to easily view this information. So I've created a separate tutorial about how to use this. So I'll go pretty quick through this example, uh, but then I'll provide a link down at the bottom of this video if you want to go into more detail. So I'm going to come in and create a new rule based group. The model that I want to review is this tutorial that I've uploaded and I want to look at the assemblies and then the property that I want to colorize by or group by is this review status. So I can find that there and it's helpful for me to have the colors. So I'll enable the colors and then I can come in and give these colors specific meanings. So I can say that approved is green, approved is noted will be yellow and then revise and resubmit I'll make red. Once I'm satisfied with that I can click on save 
that will then create the rule and you can see that it's colorized my model there of approved approved is noted and revise and resubmit and then I can expand this and interact with this as needed and toggle on or off the colors so now that those property sets have been added in Trimble Connect, I want to come view those in Tackle Structures, and that's why we've created this extension. So if I come back into Tackle Structures and come back to this tool here, what I'll do is come down here and I want to refresh this tool. What this will do is that it will establish the connection to the Trimble Connect project that we already have set up. And then once that's refreshed, I'll get a different error saying that no project definitions have been found. And then you can see this gear icon is highlighted in red. So those are prompts that I can just follow. So I'll click on that and it'll tell me that for the property name, I need to choose and define which one I want to look at. So if I hit the drop down, you can see here's this property name that we created as the property set library. So I'll go ahead and click on review status and then it will automatically load in those values that I've defined and then I can set up the colors just like we did already. So I'll go ahead and say that this will be green and let's go ahead and set this one up as yellow and then the last one we'll go ahead and just set up as red and we'll save this so we don't have to do this each time. Now, if you remember back, we ran the linking documents to Trimble Connect extension. So if we want to view any of the links that are associated to the model, then that's where I'll come in and choose the model that those documents have been linked to. So I'll define that there. I have an option here to show the property history. So I'll leave that on and show you that later on. And then the default state and default color is how do you want to colorize things that don't have a property set assigned to them? So if you hit the drop down, you can choose whichever options are pertinent to you. And then I'm going to come up here and save this away. And I'll just call this review status so I don't have to set up all of this information each time. So I'll click on save. And then what I'll do is go back up here and click on the options. That will take me back to the main screen. This will run a refresh because my model is small. It's already locked and loaded. And then you can see that everything's colorized based upon the categories that we've defined and organized based upon the drop down choice. So that's why this is critical that each of your libraries have at least one drop down choice because that's how they'll be organized here. So to use this tool, there's several options. So down here at the bottom, we have this colorized model. So I can toggle that on or off if I want to see the colors. I have the option here to select these objects in the model when I click on them in the tree. And then I also have the option to zoom to selected. So the way that that works, if I click on B1 or C1 or C2, it will highlight those and zoom me into those locations or I can modify those options if needed. We also have right click options. So if you want to collapse any of these nodes, expand the nodes or change everything to, from hidden or visible, you can do that. Or if you want to do the visibility options individually, you can just click on the eyeball and that will then hide the assembly or you can hide the entire category. Uh, since we only have one in each of those, it's a little bit limited in this example, but I think the point gets across. The reverse also works for our selection. So if you have something selected in the model, I'm going to go ahead and select assemblies and you want to find where it is in the tree list. If it's a really long list, you can click on this button here and it will highlight that here with this blue bar. You can see that that is a C2 now. When you come over and hover over these, you can see additional information about these parts. So if I hover over C1, you can see there that because I added a review comment or review date, those additional things that were added in the library can be visible. But again, it's categorized based upon that drop down choice. So I can see that there's a review comment and to see drawing. And so that's something that I may want to interact with. And so to do that, if you come in and open up the property view panel here, we have various tabs that will show you information. Uh, the first one that I have this set to already is to show the links. So if I wanted to see the drawing or that document that we created, you can see that it's listed here as that PDF. And I can click on this icon and it will launch that PDF opened in the 2D viewer within Trimble Connect. And then I can then see what comments were there. There's some basic markup tools here, or you can download it and mark it up in your preferred PDF editor and then re-upload it and maintain the version of that document so that you have a running history there. So quite a powerful tool to be able to interact directly between uh, Trimble Connect and Tackle Structures. 
We also have a history tab. I'll show you how that works in our workflow. And then there's some other property information uh, that you want. So to collaborate, we've gone through and we've done the initial collaboration. Let's go back into Trimble Connect and I will close this and let's go back into the model. And let's say that I reviewed the drawing, I reviewed this assembly, um, I'm now satisfied with the changes that have been made and I need to update the status here within Trimble Connect. So for this, I'll come back to the edit icon, I'll go ahead and mark this to be approved and I'll click save. Now that information is saved, but you'll notice that my colorization hasn't updated yet. So to do that, what I'll do is come over to my organizer group and just click on update group. And now you can see that it's colorized uh, the column and the beam both to be approved. So same idea back in Tecla structures. If I wanted to update this, if you launch the tool initially, it will do a refresh. If you have the tool open and want to pull in the, the information, you can come down here and just manually bump it. And this will go through. It will read that information from the Trimble Connect property set service and then update your model accordingly. So now you can see that my column is uh, set to green as well as uh, my beam here. So if I wanted to follow the history on this piece, I can go ahead and identify it in the tree view. Once it's selected in the tree view, now you can see that I have the history. So this says version one, it was set to approved as noted with the comment C drawing and then the timestamp there. If I come hover over the card, I can see that the current status is set to approved and it says version two. So I can go to the history and view all of the previous versions that were there if I needed uh, a digital paper trail of sorts to follow that all the way through. So there's a tutorial from start to finish of how to set this up initially and how the collaboration process between Trimble Connect and Tecla Structures can take place utilizing this extension. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at any time, but we hope this improves the collaboration workflows between those that use Tecla Structures and those that want to utilize Trimble Connect. So thank you for taking the time to view this tutorial, and we hope you enjoy this new development.